I have bought a queen ant with a few workers from the species of Lysius niger. I am very excited about this, as I have always wanted to start an ant colony. You may ask, well, why didn't you catch a queen? I'll tell you why, and the reason is pretty stupid. A few weeks ago, I saw hundreds of queen ants walking all over the place. At that time I thought, if I ever want to start a colony, then this is my chance. But I thought, well, maybe I'm not ready for it yet. So I decided not to catch one. About two weeks ago, I decided that I did want to start an ant colony. So I searched my butt off for about a week without finding anything. So I finally decided to buy a queen instead. As you can see, she has about 10 workers now and she's laid a bunch of eggs. The first generation of worker ants is always smaller than later generations. So these workers are all quite small. If you look closely, you can see a white ant. That one has just hatched. As you might have noticed, this test tube is running very low on water and is also getting a little dirty. So I decided to move the colony to a clean test tube with a big supply of water. This is not a snug fit, so I'll use a little adhesive tape while making sure to leave some air gaps. We need to make the new test tube darker, so I made a cylinder of paper with, how fitting, a shrimp on top. Now I'll shine a bright light on the nest we want them to move out of. So why do I do all this? Well, ants like their nest to be really dark. So by offering a dark nest, while at the same time making their own nest very bright, they will automatically want to move. This can take quite a bit of time though. It took over 50 minutes for the first worker to even leave the original test tube. After a few hours, the queen decided to move which usually means the move is official. However, these workers didn't really seem to do their best to move the brood. In fact, this worker dragged a pupae from the new test tube into the old test tube, which I found very peculiar. After a few more hours, they really started to get going. After about six hours, there were only a few workers left with some eggs, larvae and pupae. So I upgraded to a very bright LED light to encourage them to move even more. Only one left. So it only took about 7 hours for this really small ant colony to move 10 centimeters. As a reward for their hard work I am giving them a small drop of honey. One worker already found it. Now it's time for the small colony to rest in the dark. Something different this time, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see other projects, well, you're going to have to subscribe. Thanks for watching.